There's a sail on the flat. Sail on the flat. That's a pair of slammers, boys. Nice fish. Reeling in the Keys with host Captain George Clark Jr. We're going to go out here in Florida Bay and do a little sight fishing with another good buddy of mine, Captain Tony De Los Santos. Tony, um, we we grew up together. Went to high school um, together. High school together. Played football together, which was cool. And we're still um, we're still doing the same things that we always love to do. We're fishing for a living. We get to take people out, um, newcomers, regulars. You've built up a great business here. You're here at the Key Largo Marriott. How long have you been here at the Marriott, um, guiding out of here? I'm stinking up on 14 years here out of the Marriott Beach Resort. 14 years? Yeah. Wow. Man, is it beautiful back here. I never get tired of coming back in the Everglades, Tony. Why don't, why don't we talk a, a couple minutes about where we're at right now, where we're gonna go um, as, as far as uh, back here in Florida Bay. Well, we're gonna get, go into some skinny water, see if we can chase down some redfish and stuff. Skinny water. This boat, this boat allows you to get into some real shallow stuff. Uh, I mean, we're in inches of water throwing at really nice sized fish. A lot of different terms for the type of fishing that we're doing. No skinny water being anywhere from uh, six inches to about a little less than the foot. Right. Uh, ch chase after these tailing fish mm. and look for some redfish and snook. See what we can do. I love that, man. Don't get to do a lot of that, but I really enjoy sight fishing back here in, uh, in Everglades National Park. Tony's got another captain that works with him uh, through his business, and he's been catching some bait this morning. So rather than to take time, and stop and try to catch bait. We're just gonna see if we can steal a few um, from him. So we'll pull up there and uh, just grab a few live pilchards just in case. We're gonna throw artificials today for the most part, but it's always good to have a couple wigglers in the, in the well. Yeah, Patrick, thank you for the bait, buddy. So we're gonna throw artificials here. We got some jerk baits, um, which are, you know, a, a bait that we like to, um, throw back here looks looks kind of like a, a minnow or a small bait fish a, a pilchard small mullet and it's got a little action you can see that tail wiggles when you when you jerk this in the water it gives it some action so that's what we like to throw at these uh, these redfish and, and snook back here in the Everglades I'm using a pearl white bait um, but they make different colors so depending on where we're fishing you can see the water's a little stirred up these little white ones or my go-to bait. I like these a lot. And I know, Tony, you like the white ones also, huh? Absolutely, I like it in this lighter water. Tony, when you come back here, how do you find a spot? What, what, what makes you look at something and stop and, and fish it? I see a lot of bait moving around. There's a lot of life on the flat. You start seeing some rays and some mullet pushing. And uh, there's a lot of life to the water. And uh, you know, I really don't stop unless I see a bunch of life. You know, a lot of times I'm fishing my big bay boat and I get to see these redfish tailing as I go by, knowing that I can't even get near them. Oh man, there's snook just busted right there. I heard that, holy smokes. Oh look, they're tearing it up over there. I'm gonna push over there first, it's closer. Yeah, look at them all. You see that? Straight at 12 o'clock, you'll see the sun flashing off of them. Looks like a piece of glass almost. Those are those reds and, and you know, they get their, their butts up in the air. They're eating off the bottom and that tail just starts glistening in the sun. Oh my goodness. Look at all those reds right in front of us. They're one o'clock, they're everywhere here. Oh, my heart's pumping, dude. I'm ready. I'm ready. They got another fish pushing back here. This is like pristine too, man. Flat, calm conditions. We're probably gonna have to make long casts, but so what? Light tackle artificials up in the skinny water back here in the Everglades and there's redfish pushing everywhere. And I'm sure there's some big snook mixed in, in here too. Oh, 
well, I've unsuccessfully cast at a handful of really nice redfish, but they're really spooky in this in this skinny water. You know, it's just so calm. We're getting up close enough to see them, but they're they're spooking when they see these jerk baits. So we're switching over and trying a live one. All right, nice hookup, George. He ate one and, and got greedy. All right, Tony. Nice job, buddy. Good catch. I'll tell you what, we thrown at a handful of them that refused us. I mean, good, good presentations. Come here, pal. Red fishing in the skinny. That's what they call this. Back in Everglades National Park, Captain Tony Del Santos sight fishing, catching. Well, our first redfish of the day, anyways. Seen some nice snook, too. And there's the bait. I can hear him croaking, hear him drumming. Circle hook right in the corner of the mouth. That's what we want because we're not gonna keep this guy, we're gonna let him go. We wanna get that hook out and not hurt the fish. Redfish are probably one of the easiest fish to release down here, you know, without doing them much harm. Um, such a great fishery because you can catch these guys over and over again. Open up, there you go. And look at this guy, he's got all sorts of spots on him. <laughs> he's got them all over the place. They're just milling around in front of us, not even just circling. But the snapper fishery back here in the Everglades, that's such a cool thing though. Cause you know, you bring families out here a lot, Tony. And I mean, you can go catch those snappers with little kids and catch them their very first fish pretty easily. That's, that's awesome stuff. So Captain Tony, what, I know you fish, fish a little bit on the side tournaments. What, what tournaments do you like? I like the fish that take stock in children tournament. Um, it's dear to my heart. Uh, good local tournament raising money for a, uh, underprivileged kids for uh, scholarships. Now yeah, I love that one too. There you go, fish on baby, big fish. Big snook dude, big, big snook Tony. Oh boy, we're in trouble. Big, big snook dude. <laughs> And of course, as you can see, I have to back up, get back here with Tony. Oh, wow. Yes, go that way, my friend. Go that way. He's doing what we want him to do. I thought it was a big shark. <laughs> Wow, beautiful fish, George. Oh boy. And of course, as you can see, I can't do anything. Oh, it's so big and heavy. Oh, dang, he came off right there. That's all right. Big, big fish though. Tony, Lion, Lion Hawaiian Charters. I mean, you're Hawaiian ori originally from Hawaii, but what, what gave you the, the idea? I mean, I love the name, but how'd you think that one up? It actually got given to me at the Holiday Inn dock by a captain named Les on the fins of feathers. Uh, all fishermen are liars, and I'm, I just happen to be Hawaiian. <laughs> I lie about the size usually, though. <laughs> there he is, right in front of you. See him? 11 o'clock. Oh, baby, turn around. Perfect shot. Come on, get it. I'm swimming toward it. Just ate it. Oh, my God, he ate it. Nice. Oh, boy. Come on, get out of there. <laughs> Tell me that's not hilarious. Coming at us. See him just annihilate that. That thing. was sick. Sight fishing, baby. 
up in the skinny. Whoa, look at the head on this guy. And he was sitting in like four inches of water. About eight things could have gone wrong right there. Redfish, baby. What a beautiful fish, George. You're the man. No, man, you got me right on him, buddy. But that fish, I mean, he was just grubbing. He had pliers, Sonny. Pop that out of there. Good hooks, folks. There you go. Beautiful redfish. This guy was had his head down in the grass. I mean, this grass is thick in here. Had his head down there, tail up out of the water, just kind of doing his thing. And we had that live pilchard right above his head for probably five seconds before he saw it. And then, boom, as soon as he saw it, there's, I feel bad for the pilchard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna get him back in the water. That bait was like a kamikaze pilot. He's like, you know what? These guys are working hard. Captain Tony's polling. I'm just gonna take one for the team. I'm gonna swim over there. And, and he was like dancing on his head like this. And that redfish rose up and went, oh, really? That's what it's all about. Stay tuned, guys. We'll be back in just a moment with more reeling in the keys. Well, we got a couple nice redfish, Tony, and a, and a really nice snook, a big snook that uh, this morning so far, we can either go down around here and possibly keep working this, or if you want to run to another spot, um, it's up to you. What do you think? Yeah, I think we're just going to jump right over the top of this flat. We're just going to pull around into the channel okay. really swiftly and uh, go chase out some of those fish. Looks like there's a lot of push there. So. Did you say swiftly? <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing swift about me and you, dude. That's true. We're going to pull around this flat uh, nice and easily. There you Try go. Try not to spook the fish. There's a lot of movement still there, so uh, let's keep pulling here. I, I hate to leave fish to look for fish. No, I agree, man. And we're not looking to catch 100 fish. You know, if we wanted to do that, I think we would probably find an island where we know there's fish up underneath the trees and we'd sit there and bait fish them or whatever. This is sight fishing where we're, we're hunting, you know? This is just like stalking fish in the shallow. So out here, pulling around, looking, spotting fish, trying to make a good cast without spooking them. These fish are ultra spooky in this. I mean, you look out here, the water's glass calm. So you really have to approach them with a, a real gentle approach, not pull up on them fast, make really accurate cast and not spook those fish. But as you can see, when you do that, these fish are, are very, very happy to take our offering. So I'm excited. I'm excited to have caught a few already and we'll go down here and uh, we still see tons of fish moving around. So we'll see what happens. We mentioned uh, that there's a lot of bait out here. Tony, what do you think most of these fish are, are eating out of the bottom or chasing around to eat? Cause we're, we're seeing a lot of tailing fish and stuff. A lot of crabs in here too, you think this time of year? You know, you see a handful. Um... They must be, it must be some smaller shrimp also that they're eating off the grass. Um, Cause it's hard to see, you know, normally you can see the crabs pushing along the bottom a little bit and you know, the little holes, see them fiddling across the bottom. Are those crabs that are fiddling around the bottom, are those fiddler crabs? No, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. But no, I, <laughs> I think they're blue crabs. Okay. God, look at the size of them fish in that mud right there. God. Right there? Yeah, they're monsters. And another redfish has ate them. He didn't have it down all the way. That bait was too big for him, I guess. Oh, I see one right there. You just turn them. Oh, dude, there's ten. There's ten of them there. <laughs> They'll find the for your bait. They're just. There's like three ahead of you. Just throw, just throw it anywhere. This is crazy. There you go, Cam George. Red fish, buddy. Now these aren't big giant ones like we were seeing out on the flat, but there's a ton of them. Oh, look at more going back up into the trees there. 
actually not a bad fish, but I threw at one and five more came over. And that was on a half of one. I, the bait seemed to be a little too big that I was using, so I, I just used a half of one. And I mean, they're, they're gonna eat them. Look at that guy. There's a nice false eye right there on the tail. And here we go. Fish on. That's a nice one. Beautiful, beautiful, Tony. You need me to come help? No, nah, just enjoy myself. Enjoy yourself. That's what this is all about, man. Here, I'll what take a them. beautiful fish. I'll bring them right to you, Captain George. Dude, they're everywhere. Dude. He's on oh, your bait. Look at it. Taking off one, he's got one on, baby. Take skill. Yes. Captain George. Oh, look at that. He's fishing with my kneecaps. Now we're talking. <laughs> You're flipping everywhere. That's a huge snook over there next. I saw a really nice one a minute ago. All right. Redfish. Circle hook right in the corner of the mouth. I didn't even have to set a hook or anything on that. I had the bait out trying to help Tony get his fish off. And I'm telling you, circle hooks are the way to go, folks. And again, there's that false side down here. So when these guys are smaller and a fish goes to eat this guy, if he gets them from the tail, at least it gives them a 50% chance to uh, escape. Up there. Right along the edge of the mangroves here, there's a ton of redfish. I mean, they're just, I don't even have to get it in too far. Excuse me. That's not even fair. Fish on, baby. Look at them follow them out. Hey, dude, where are you going? No, we're good. Oh, look at this fatty right here, George. Get him, get him, get him, get him. There's another big one right out here. I want to catch that one. Oh, look at all them fish trying to run right into the boat. I'm getting confused at where to cast. There's so many fish here. Here, let me. Oh, Mr. Shark, leave me alone. Come on, get out of there, buddy. Pretty, pretty redfish. Come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it. Look oh, right bingo! Yeah, yeah baby. baby. Nice one too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah! <laughs> it's not even fair, dude. It's fun! Well, it, it, you almost have to just be here to understand why it's so comical for us because there are fish literally everywhere. And some are this size, which is a pretty good size redfish, and some are small. There's huge snook cruising the shoreline in here. Really, really good fishing. Oh, look at that one right there, Tony. Right up on the trees. I see it. Oh! Oh, that snook just tore some butt up. <laughs> Redfish here in the Florida Keys. You want to come do this, go fish with Captain Tony. Come down here and book a trip with Captain Tony. You will not be disappointed if you get the chance to do this kind of fishing. This is fantastic, man. Fantastic. Or even if you live in the Keys and haven't experienced this, book a trip. 
All right, buddy. Well, thanks for tuning in to Reeling in the Keys. And I want to thank Captain Tony for getting me out on the water. We're going to uh, continue to catch some fish, but tune in next time for more Reeling in the Keys here in the Florida Keys. There's a place out on the ocean Ain't on a map anywhere The captain's looking at the water He knows exactly where to steer No internet or Wi-Fi tower All that stress is gone The line's just went in the water And somebody yells, fish on! And it's just another day Reeling in the keys We got that fishing feeling There's no place we'd rather be We're a million miles from nowhere But we ain't lost at sea Just loving life, living the dream Reeling in the keys